Betty Bassick, please tell us about your book. So I was, um, I grew up on a farm and uh, we moved into a small town in the 1950s. Uh, I was just nine years old. I don't know where I came from, but I always thought I was a bit of a sleuth. But I, and I heard the town had a gangster and I grew up in this town and he was going in and out of the town all the time. I was busy with my own life, so I never got around to actually meeting him. Um, when I, fast forward to 2016, when I retired from 3M Company, and I decided I was gonna write books in my retirement. So I, I remembered this, our town having this gangster so I started to talk to local people to say, why did you think this man was a gangster? I was trying to find out if this was fact or fiction. Um, it ended up that it was quite a story. I Googled um, Louis LaCava and Al Capone one day and up popped a lot of really credible information. Ultimately, I wrote this book it's a historical crime novel. Um, the pieces in it that are very factual are police and FBI reports, newspaper accounts. And I also interviewed a dozen people in my hometown who, um, who had grown up with, at the era when this gangster first came to town. It's an unbelievable story, whether you're from a small town in the Midwest or anywhere, um, we have interesting characters who come to live and dwell amongst us. Uh, one of them was Burley Hahn, whose father was the town marshal. Um, he was deceased by this time, but she told me fabulous stories for this book. And Burley herself worked in the Coffin Cafe where this gangster came in and out. So it's a fun read. Uh, it's a fast read. And I'm pleased that in 2019, this book won a book award. So um, have fun and read Gangster in Our Midst. Thank you, Betty.